Time now for the first of our road tests. Now on last week's show we reported on the recent launch in Lyon of the Renault T-Series. It was incredibly impressive, blowed everyone away. But aside from the glitz and glamour, does the truck itself prove to be just as spectacular? The Renault Premium and Magnum tractor unit range have been familiar sights on Britain's roads over the last 15 to 20 years. But that's all changed now. There's a new kid on the block and it's called the Renault T-Range. A completely new vehicle from the ground up, the Renault T has been designed and developed in close collaboration with 50 Renault customers around the world. And Renault say that before being brought to the market, the truck has been subject to the most extensive and thorough test in the company's history. And that includes over 10 million kilometres of driving tests. The Renault T range is quite extensive. As I told you earlier, it covers both the Premium and the Magnum. But the vehicle we've got today is a 6x2, 460 brake horsepower. It's probably going to be Renault's best-selling vehicle. That's why we're going to take a road test with it. First impressions as I sit myself down here and settle myself down in the seat, it's an almost perfect driving position. Having a quick look at the seat and a bit more detail, the one thing I do like, I know it's quite simple, but it's got heated seats and I really do like those a lot. But have a look inside. Now, this is one of the top of the range cabs. It's meant for drivers, maybe one driver or two drivers, to be out on the road, maybe three, four, five days a week. So you've got to have lots of space, and it certainly does have it. It's got an almost flat floor. I know I'm not a giant, but I can certainly stand up in here, no problem whatsoever. And it's got lots of cupboards, lots of space, lot of storage. That's what you want when you're away for two or three days at a time, four days at a time. Just above the driver's head, we've got the tachograph and we've also got the CD and radio player as well. Behind me, we've got a double bunk and I do like the nice touch. The little touch is like an integrated ladder. It saves a lot of space and that's important in a, a confined space as a, a truck cab. Down at the bottom here, a really nice thick bunk. I've not actually slept in it, but I did at the launch in Lyon. I managed to actually sneak a quick uh, lie down on it and it was very comfortable indeed. All of the T-Range have the latest Euro 6 spec engines and they range from an 11 litre 380 horsepower version to the top spec 13 litre 520 horsepower with the best seller expected to be the version we're testing today. Here we are, 460 horsepower, 11.8 litre engine. Uh, vehicle's pulling away, we're at 45 mile an hour, we're in 12th gear and she's really looking low, 1100. This vehicle can actually, I think the, the stats actually say that at 56 miles an hour or 90 kph as we know, then it should be running around about 1,000, just under uh, 1,100 RPM at the maximum range. A little bit of wind noise from the mirror on the right hand side here, but apart from that, really, really nice, a very comfortable drive indeed. Seater position is excellent, as I said earlier on. And the good thing about this one as well is the steering rake and height adjustment is pneumatic and it's probably one of the better ones I've seen. A lot of the new generation are pneumatic. This one's got one of the best ones because it's got a really good full range and that's one of the things I did like about it. As far as dashboard layout is concerned, nice instrument panel a la the French in LCD, a lot more uh, LCD around and that's just the, the trend for the French and I can't blame them, I like it a lot. semi wrap round dashboard and as you know probably by now that's one of my favourite ways. It gives you good access to the bunk here but actually just feels you a little bit more comfortable in there. At the front of me here I've got the heating ventilation system and then at the side here cruise control, or oh, it's got the not only the cruise control but the active cruise control. I think they call it the ACC. I'm sure it'll be Opti something uh, because the, uh, the Re Renault seems to have this thing about Opti Drive, Opti this, Opti that, Opti Flex, Opti Eco, Opti everything. Uh, I'm sure there'll be an Opti for that one as well. And indeed it does have Opti Driver automatic transmission which is fitted as standard to all the Renault T models. I have to say it's super smooth on the Millbrook flats but to really test it we need some hills. 460 horsepower and 44 tonnes, a typical sort of UK operation. Uh, as we pull away here, we're in ninth gear now and 28 mile an hour, we're down to about 14. There is a kick through on this, so you do have an ability just to, for what we need on here, the, the uh, going up the hill, and she's pulling away nicely. You feel like you're catching it. The green zone here, 
is between 1,000 and 1,500, and we're holding it there at 14, and she feels like she should hold it. I might drop, I'm in eighth now, I might drop maybe another gear, something like that. With peak power achieved at around 2,000 revs, the T certainly doesn't feel lacking in grunt, so it's thumbs up for the hill test. Now, going up the hill's one thing, coming down is the other. And here we've got a, a three-stage exhaust brake and engine brake, if you like, as well, and it really holds it. I'm down on the, the last stage, completely on maximum. I'm coming down here at 25, 26 mile an hour, and we're on about 1,700 RPM. Maximum is about 300 kilowatts, which is around about the 400 horsepower that you can throw on there, and it's holding the vehicle at 44 tonnes without any problem whatsoever, and a very, very efficient uh, braking system. We don't want to use the service brakes, we really want to use the engine to slow the vehicle down. It's more efficient, more fuel efficient, and helps save us on brake wear and things like that. So that's how, what, what we do on heavy trucks. There are actually three types of retarders available for the T-Range. And when you combine that with the host of power plants and a massive range of options inside the cab, you have a really good proposition for a wide range of applications. I think even the most ardent Renault truck fan will have to admit that Renault trucks have played on the marginal side of the UK truck market up to now. But I think with the Renault T range, that could be about to change.